Hey everybody, Dr. Todd, Healthy View Podiatry. Uh, so today we have a trial that looks actually probably be relatively normal. So she's had an ingrown nail removed five times, not by me, so over the years. Came in, she's still having a lot of pain. So she's got what looks to be like a little fibroma underneath the nail. So what we're planning on doing is taking the nail off, excising the fibroma and getting rid of it. Hopefully as the nail grows back, the pain will go away, all right? I think I did a video like this a while back with another gentleman who had a bigger one, but um, let's take a look. So she's already numb. So you can kind of see the bump right here is where all of her pain is, okay? So unfortunately, because where it is, we gotta take the whole nail off first and then we can get to it a little bit better. So. Let's do that, let's take the nail off and then we'll get that, that little mass out of there. Let me know if you have any issues, okay? Okay. You're not looking? Mm. <laughs> okay. You're missing all the good stuff. kind of see right here it's like discolored right that's oh, kind of yeah. where that little Definitely. bulbous area is so I'm gonna clean this part up this is like excess skin most likely from the previous procedures and then we'll kind of cut that guy out it's probably gonna bleed pretty well I would assume because it looks a little vascular yeah there's definitely something there Allergies are going crazy this time of year. Oh, it's bad. All right, so you can see a little bit better, nice and clean, but you can kind of see this area right here. So kind of, kind of ellipse it, cut it out, send it for pathology. The big thing we talked to her about is it may potentially impact the way the new nail grows back because of where it is. Okay, so let's get the blade. So again, it's kind of right here is what we're looking at. So what I want to do first, just kind of do a little stab incision over it so we can see what we got. All right. Now we're going to kind of do a football around it. Surgery here. You got good eyes. Oh, my eyes are closed. <laughs> you doing okay? Yeah. Good. So you can see there's a little like bulbous area right there, oh, right? Yeah, definitely. Unfortunately, she was previously seen and just pretty much told, you're fine, there's nothing there, you're fine, there's nothing there. Usually if somebody's saying that, they're typically not crazy. So, lucky for her, she found us. <laughs> it's a shameless plug. How we doing? Good. So, most likely this is gonna be some type of little cyst, fibroma, something along the lines of that. Um, the issue with these is risks of recurrence, which is definitely a possibility. Again, that's something that we went through with her because we don't like surprises. Some of it.
see a little bit better. How we doing, okay? Okay, I'm okay. Cut out in pieces, unfortunately. See, it's pretty deep, right? Definitely. So, I mean, that's going to cause anybody some pain. <clears throat> so we're going to try to throw a stitch over this and see if we can close it up. It may not close completely just because of the type of tissue it is. So if it doesn't, you know, we're not going to lose sleep over it. It'll kind of granulate in and plug in and then she'll be fine. So we'll see if we can get it closed a little bit for her. The tissue on the nail bed is usually pretty uh, soft. So the stitches are pretty easily to pull through them. We also don't keep them in the full amount of time. Usually we keep them in for about a week just because um, the nail bed heals super rapidly. So if we keep it in too long, then what happens is the stitch gets buried in essence and then it hurts like hell when you try to get it out. Close better than I thought it would, so we'll do one more after this too. Still doing okay up there? Yeah. Good. Looks okay. great. That worked out well. Good. All right, let's nip these stitches. That was a fix. Yeah. Like I said, we're going to um, pop the uh, stitches out probably next week. So a lot of times, just with like a biopsy, punch biopsies that we do, we don't always um, stitch them up. They usually heal in really nice, but just with her, an obviously very vascular area, 
I'd rather be safe than sorry, so. Take him out of the week, shouldn't give her too much issues either. Right, let's put a couple wraps on here. And that way she won't have to call me, or call her over the weekend because her dressing's stuck to the toe. <laughs> having issues with it, so. All right, we're just wrapping you up, okay? Okay. You know, your blue toe for a little bit. <laughs> you know, like a Smurf. <laughs> Are Smurfs still on TV? Not that I know. <laughs> that aging myself. <laughs> So uh, yeah, so she'll come back next week. We'll take the stitches out early enough that way they don't one um, embed into the nail bed and cause any issues. But obviously, you can see you know what it came back as. So um, I don't know. Should we redo a follow up next week video? I guess everybody Definitely. wants to see it. Yeah. So we'll do a follow up so that way everybody can see how it looks and hopefully we'll have a result uh, with that by then as well. So we can put it at the bottom of the screen. But. All right, so here we are as a follow-up of that little mass excision. So you can see it's healed pretty quickly. I won't touch you, I'm just gonna point. So this is obviously where the little tumor was. This is just some dried blood, just a little sensitive there, so I'm not gonna poke and prod, stitches out already. Um, so it looks really good. It's primarily healed, just some dried blood. So ultimately, what was it? That's, that's the million dollar question. So it came back as what's called a glomus tumor, G-L-O-M-U-S, I'll put it on the screen here. Um, super rare benign tumor that develops in the fingertips or the toes. It's usually solitary. If it's multiple, then you worry about more malignancy. Luckily, this is a benign tumor. Um, so basically within the dermal layer of the skin, you get glomal bodies, which account for like um, temperature regulation. Um, and those glomal bodies can then become tumorized. Is that even a word? Can it become a tumor, um, which is what developed with her. So. Um, I don't know if we talked about it last time. She was very sensitive to cold, so that makes sense, right? It's a it's a thermal type of tumor, very sensitive to cold, um, extremely painful tumors too. So all the stuff she was saying kind of lines up um, to what was going on. So um, I know we talked about it a little bit last video, and um, her husband, husband, right, yes. just just uh, said as well. You know, if patients complaining about something, there's probably something going on, right? So you don't want to just overlook it and say, ah, oh, it looks fine. She had seen five other podiatrists, yes. right? That's a lot for to be kind of missed. Now, this is not by any means patting myself on the back, but I just like to say, <laughs> take the patient for what they're saying, right? There's probably something going on. Um, yeah. So it's out of there. She feels a lot better. She'll continue to feel better as time progresses. For the most part, it's pretty much healed. Um, we got good news that it's nothing more than a benign tumor, but more likely, more than anything, she gets kind of peace of mind to know that it's not there anymore pretty low recurrence rate on like cysts and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so she should do work really well. So hope you enjoyed the video from start to finish. Thanks for letting us film your foot or your toe. And uh, like, follow, subscribe, help you keep it and we'll see you next time, bye.